Hey everyone and welcome back to another Max Velocity weather forecast and in today's forecast we'll be breaking down a new storm that we'll have to watch for very closely over the next several days because this will bring a risk for severe weather to parts of the upper Midwest back through maybe even the northern Ohio Valley and eventually into the northeast over the next couple days. This will bring the risk for some damaging winds, large hail, and maybe a couple of isolated tornadoes. I'll give you the latest breakdown on everything that you need to know in this weather forecast but let's first begin with what's happening across the United States today and we'll first begin with the upper Midwest and as well as back into southern Canada and there's a massive area of showers and storms currently ongoing across parts of southern Canada entering into Minnesota and this is going to actually produce the risk for some severe weather today tomorrow and as well as going into Friday so it's gonna be a pretty active stretch over the next few days primarily for those in the northern tier of the United States and we'll be watching this very closely again this is a pretty defined low pressure system it's actually pretty strong by the way even in the upper levels which i'll show you more on that in a moment but it's a pretty intense low pressure system and this will definitely bring some rainfall with the threat of some severe weather further down to the south through the ohio valley central plains southern plains southeast united states there's really not much going on there's hardly any showers or storms anywhere across the great plains and as well as back into the ohio valley it's going to stay dry most likely for the next week to two weeks we're gonna have a heat dome start to build in to parts of the central plains and back into the midwest and as that moves further to the north and east basically after the slow pressure system leaves we're going to start to see a big increase of the temperatures and a decrease in the overall precipitation so we'll have to watch that very closely and then back down in the gulf of mexico we are going to talk more on this in a second but there is a chance a 20 percent probability over the next seven days of a tropical system developing back over in the western gulf of mexico and i'll be discussing more on that here later in this forecast now let's talk a bit more about the weather pattern that'll be impacting the United States through the rest of this week, into the weekend, and as well as into next week. And to look at that, we're going to look at the jet stream. And this is what it looks like right now. Our jet stream is located all the way back up into Canada and as well as back into the Northern Plains. This is your low pressure system that is bringing the shower and storm activity right now. And then further out to the west in the upper levels, this is where our heat dome is located. And over the next several days, this is going to migrate further to the east, bringing relentless heat to a very large chunk of the United States including the Midwest and through a large chunk of the Great Plains. So notice over the next few days as we go closer to Friday and as well as into Saturday that low pressure system that is currently bringing showers and storms to parts of the Midwest is going to be back over in the Northeast and that will allow for at least some showers and storms maybe a low end threat for some severe weather. And then notice where the heat dome is by then. Our heat dome will be located across a large chunk of the United States. This will be covering a lot of ground. It's going to go all the way through the Northern Plains and even into the Midwest by Saturday and it's going to begin to ramp up that heat very quickly and and start to create the potential for some drought conditions due to how little amount of rain will be coming out of this. Look at this going into Saturday, Sunday, into Monday. This heat dome is not moving. This is Tuesday of next week. This is where your jet stream is located. Again, we have no rain in sight because of this heat dome that's sitting up here. And with that tropical system that we're watching for closely to develop in the Gulf of Mexico going into next week, if it ends up developing, it's going to take a westerly direction path. It's going to probably go into Mexico or Texas because of this high pressure system. That's going to kind of steer it further off to the west. So that's just for future reference and later in this forecast when we're actually talking about the tropics, that would be what ends up happening with that low pressure system. And then once we go into Wednesday and Thursday of next week, notice again, this heat dome has no plans of moving anytime soon. So so this could very easily be our worst heat wave of the summer so far. Areas like DFW and southern parts of the plains, again, back over in Texas, we are looking at temperatures near 110 degrees on Friday. That would be the warmest day of the summer there. So again, we are still looking ahead for some summer-like conditions here before we actually get to fall, which is, again, still a few weeks away. Now, let's talk more about the severe weather potential for the next several days, and we'll begin with today. As of right now, there is a slight risk of severe weather in the upper Midwest, marginal threat as well. It includes areas like Wisconsin, as well as back into Minnesota, and the upper Michigan Peninsula and maybe northern Iowa as well with a low end chance for severe weather there main concern for today will be damaging winds there is a low end chance for maybe a brief tornado or two with this line of storms that we'll be watching for later today couple ingredients for today just kind of give you an idea of why we're not going to see like a severe weather outbreak out of this very strong trough is because of the dew points one because we will not have a whole lot of buoyancy the dew points are only going to reach the low 60s which isn't very favorable for this time of the year I mean we're looking maybe at mid 60s if you're back down in southern Minnesota today but overall not really impressive for a severe weather 
weather setup and overall even going through the weekend and next week just kind of throwing this out there the humidity will build across parts of the midwest and with that heat it's going to make it feel very hot just want to throw that out there but here's the instability instability is like pu putting gasoline into a vehicle but in this sense it is fueling severe storms so notice going into tonight instability values will actually be quite high back down in southern minnesota so again there will be some storm activity out there but around three to four thousand joules per kilogram and then going into tomorrow the instability values are very low and the wind profile is not overly favorable for any sort of major tornado significance today so we're not really looking at that it's gonna be a pretty low end chance but I have a tornado action plan in place just in case this is what it looks like going into six o'clock tonight again this is where your line of storms will be located it's primarily gonna be back up in Canada but there will be some of it in parts of central and eastern Minnesota this is going closer to the evening hours again this is right around nine o'clock a line of storms moving through northern Wisconsin there is a chance for an isolated storm or two down here the threat is probably going to be on the lower side it depends on if any storms actually fire up but if they do that is where we'll be watching for maybe an isolated storm or two to produce some large hail and damaging winds and maybe a brief tornado eventually going closer to 10 to 11 o'clock these storms are moving through the upper michigan peninsula and as well as northern and central wisconsin a bit more of a broken line of storms mainly damaging winds to this point and eventually going into the overnight hours this line of storms will remain a bit weaker with some gusty winds maybe isolated damaging winds up to 60 miles per hour that'll be the main concern during the overnight hours this is by about 6 to 7 a.m tomorrow morning we'll be watching for this area of storms to go through the chicago suburbs with some isolated damaging winds so stay weather aware take the proper precautions before going to bed tonight eventually going in tomorrow afternoon more storms moving off to the eastern michigan with some isolated damaging winds which leads into our next threat of severe weather tomorrow which there is a marginal threat of severe weather across parts of michigan northern ohio and northern indiana overall it's just isolated damaging winds that's the only threat for tomorrow but make sure you're staying weather aware and have a multiple ways to receive warnings just in case anything does go crazy which i don't expect at this point and then going into flying fences friday we do have a marginal risk of severe weather in parts of the northeast this includes new england on the east coast for cape cod back through connecticut as well as rhode island southern maine and southeast new hampshire main concerns there are damaging winds with maybe some sporadic hail and you might have heard there are three disturbances now in the atlantic ocean tropical waves that are going to be developing over the next several days one of which is in the gulf of mexico and i'm going to answer this question for you right off the bat will this become a hurricane or even a tropical storm it is very unlikely it'll become a hurricane and it's unlikely overall that this will become a tropical storm but it might briefly become a tropical depression or maybe a low-end tropical storm as it goes to the west toward areas like southern texas and as well as mexico going into next week so sometime around wednesday or so there could be some rainfall out of this so that'd be very beneficial but right now the current projected track of this will be going west towards southern texas and as well as northern mexico again this is a no hype forecast i'm not expecting a hurricane out of this hey if anything changes we'll keep it posted but again no hurricane right now expected out of that and a tropical storm still remains unlikely with that system 20 percent chance of development by the way over the next seven days two other systems back in the atlantic ocean again we don't usually talk about these very often unless they're posing a threat to the united states or even the antilles or somewhere at least that's landfall i'm not really expecting an immediate threat out of either of these 50 percent chance of developing here and then a 40 percent chance of development here again we're not really that concerned about these either stay tuned again we'll keep you posted no hype forecast here if anything does change we'll keep you posted but these are currently projected go out to sea as of right now Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to hit the like button down below and subscribe if you've not already.